One day in the near future, a lab somewhere will switch on a quantum computer powerful enough to shatter today's encryption. Experts call this moment Q-Day, the point when RSA, elliptic curve crypto, and most systems that protect our emails, bank transfers, state secrets, and Bitcoin wallets can be cracked. Unlike classical machines, which test one solution after another, quantum computers use qubits that can be zero and one at once. Shor's algorithm exploits this to factor huge numbers fast, turning the impossible maths behind modern cryptography into a solvable puzzle. No one has that kind of machine yet. Current devices have tens or hundreds of noisy qubits, far short of the thousands or millions needed. But progress is steady and governments are nervous. Intelligence agencies are already stockpiling intercepted encrypted traffic in Harvest Now, Decrypt Later attacks, betting they'll unlock it when Q-Day arrives. The impact goes far beyond privacy. A code-breaking quantum computer could spoof identities, issue fake commands to power grids, drain bank accounts, or quietly read military communications in real time. Cryptocurrencies are especially exposed. Without a coordinated upgrade, a single capable quantum machine could effectively zero out Bitcoin. To avoid that, researchers are racing to deploy post-quantum algorithms that even quantum computers can't feasibly break. Some messaging apps, chips, and government systems are already switching over. The hopeful scenario is a boring one. We finish this upgrade before Q-Day, and what might have been an apocalypse ends up feeling like a dud for good.